outcome. In this video, we want to see how we can uh, do parametric differentiation. Uh, and the question that we want to solve is uh, the parametric equations of an ellipse are uh, x is equal to 4 cos theta and y is equal to sine theta. Determine dy over dx. So normally, uh, you can be given any equation like this one and another equation like this one but you see x and y are expressed in terms of another variable theta so the variable theta is called the parameter and because x and y are expressed in terms of theta they are called parametric equations so there are various equations or shapes that are presented in form of parametric equations. One of them is the ellipse, like we have. It is presented in terms of, x is presented in terms of theta, and y is presented in terms of theta. So these are two parametric equations. So we have other shapes or curves that can be presented as the parametric uh, equations. One of them is uh, the ellipse, like we've seen, we have also the parabola, hyperbola, cardioids, asteroids, cycloids, and so on and so forth. So to find uh, dy over dx, we use what we call parametric differentiation. Now you realize that if we try to change theta, x will change and y will change. So to find change in y divided by change in x, we have to use what we call parametric uh, differentiation because these are presented as parametric equations. So dy over dx will be equal to, using parametric differentiation, it will be dy divided by d theta. Then here we're going to have dx over d theta. So what we need to do is we need to find this one here. We differentiate y with respect to theta. Then we divide the differentiation of x with respect to theta. So we just need to differentiate this one and differentiate that one. So I'll start with, um, I can start with um, dx over d theta. Okay. So this will be x is equal to 4 cos theta. Now dx over d theta be equal to. So now we are going to write our x equal to that's a parametric equation for x. Now we need to differentiate with respect to theta. In the previous uh, videos I discussed how you can memorize the derivative of cos theta, sine theta and so on. So you just make, make up that circle. Here you put sine theta, there you put minus sine theta here you put cos theta and there you put minus cos theta. So if you are finding dy or uh, you are differentiating these things, you are going to be coming in the clockwise direction. So you come in the clockwise direction. But if you are integrating, you are going to come in the anticlockwise direction. So the derivative of cos theta will be from there, we come there, it will be minus sine theta. So you maintain 4, this will be minus, because of that minus, then we put sine theta. Again now, we come to the differentiation of y with respect to theta, which is what we have up there. Down here, we've already calculated. So we come here, dy over d theta, is equal to, we are differentiating this one, so when we differentiate this one, uh, sine, it will be in the clockwise direction, so we come here, we are going to find cos theta, so this will be cos theta. Now, after you are done with this, all you need to do is to come and replace in this particular uh, formula. So dy over dx will be equal to 
what is dy over d theta? We've calculated dy over d theta is this one. So it will be cos theta divided by dx over d theta. We calculated it's this one. So I'll get this one and put it here. We're going to have minus 4 sine theta. Now we are going to use we are going to use trigonometry ratios or trig ratios cos theta over sine theta this is equal to cot so this would be dy over dx is equal to minus here we are going to have one so one over four cot theta okay i've used uh, trig ratios remember we have to simplify as much as we can so this would be negative 1 over 4 cot theta and this would be the change in y with respect to x so every time you are given parametric equations you are going to use this particular formula you differentiate y with respect to the third variable again you differentiate x with respect to the third variable then you try to divide the two statements so i'm saying you differentiate the given y Sometimes it's not always going to be theta. We can have y expressed as a function of t and x expressed as a function of t. So dy over dx in terms of t will be differentiating y with respect to uh, t divided by uh, differentiation of x uh, with respect to t using this particular formula. So if the parameter is t, what will appear here is t. Okay, and then if you try to manipulate or work out, in our case, we're going to end here. So for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.